Hi, my name is Natalie and I wanted to make this video to share with you five steps on how to quit your job. And I'm doing this because I recently quit my job and it was a great decision. So I just want to share these tips with you. So let's get right to it. Step number one, know you are ready to quit. This is very important because you don't want to just quit your job without giving it any thought. So some ways I knew that I was ready to quit my job was I, I brainstormed questions like, why did I want this job in the first place? What were my goals? So think back to when you first got this job, when you were really excited to have it. Think about the application process. Think about what you wanted to get out of it. And that'll help you think about whether you met those goals or whether um, there are goals left to be met. So for me, so to give you some background, I was recently living in Senegal, which is in West Africa, and I was working with an NGO, working with farmers, and I knew that I wanted to live in Senegal mostly to learn French. That was my biggest goal, learn French. Um, and I also wanted to learn more about the culture, I wanted to travel, and I wanted to get professional experience writing, doing communications work, and um, just interacting with farmers and learn more about agriculture as well. So those were my big goals. And I had in my head that I would be there for about two years, which is exactly what I did. And at the end of those two years, I realized I wasn't growing much anymore. And um, I started to think, are there any ways I could continue to grow if I decided to stay here? That is very important. If not, it's not really worth it to stay at that job. Your, your job is to gain skills and keep growing. And yes, it might be to serve other people, um, but ultimately you really want to be in a position, especially when you're younger, where you're gaining new skills. And if that's not happening anymore, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. So I know this is different from our parents' generation, baby boomers. Um, they might be in a job for 30 plus years, but the world just isn't like that anymore. People change jobs all the time and it's kind of the norm right now and um, I'm just speaking from from my perspective um, it was a great decision for me because now I'm doing different work um, gaining completely new skills so just think about are there any goals you could achieve if you were to stay at this job um, it's possible that it's just a difficult conversation with your boss in order to realign you towards doing work that would actually allow you to gain new skills or to keep growing. If that's not the case, if there's nothing left, um, no other opportunities for you, then it might be time to quit. So if you fall in this pool of people who believe that you're ready to quit, then this video is for you and you can keep watching. So step number two to quitting your job is deciding what you want. What is it you want to do exactly? Why did you quit your job? Do you want a new job right away? If so, start brainstorming what is it you want to do? Why didn't you like your old job? Um, I know we said you weren't growing anymore, but there's tons of reasons people quit their jobs in addition to just not feeling any more growth. Um, it could be the work-life balance. It could be the commute. It could be the company values. It could be your boss. It could be whatever it is. Think about why you left your old job and what exactly you want in a new job. So I think it's really helpful to just brain, brainstorm for three to five minutes, write down exactly what your dream job would be. This really helps you to realign towards what your goals are and what you want in a job. So ask yourself questions like, what kind of team would you be a part of? Would you be working remote or would you be working in an office? What would your company's values be? What kind of work would you be doing on a daily basis? Would you be a part of a tight-knit team or would you be doing solo work? What kind of skills would you be developing at the job? Would you travel where to and how often? And you might think this is idealistic, but it's actually really, it's a really helpful exercise to just get you aligned towards where you want to go. Because if we, if we don't know where we want to go, it's a lot more difficult to actually get there and to come up with a plan to get there. So that brings me to step number three create your plan A. So I'm not going to mention a plan B because there's 
There's actually a really great Hidden Brain episode on this. Um, Hidden Brain is a podcast I listen to, and they just talk about how sometimes having a plan B actually holds you back from achieving your plan A because it's kind of, um, it's like when you have that backup plan, it keeps you demotivated. Um, and just when you subconsciously know that you have a backup plan, you're less likely to actually achieve your, your first plan, your plan A. So we're not even going to talk about plan B right now. Hold in your head, hold in your focus, your plan A. So plan A, if your goal is to write a novel, for example, what are the steps you need to take to actually write it? Do some research. Um, plan out exactly how many words per day you want to write, how many words per week you want to write, when you want the first draft to be done by. This is all about just taking those concrete steps and actualizing your goal. So if your dream is to become a yoga instructor, maybe first do yoga videos on YouTube if you haven't already and make sure that you actually enjoy doing yoga and maybe just practice in your living room, practice as if you were teaching a class and feel as if, um, get the feel for whether it's something you actually enjoy or not. And then maybe look up what all is out there, what are the different options. So I know there's yoga courses that can be from 20 days to two years. How in depth with it do you want to go? And maybe this requires thinking about your steps after that. So is your goal to own your own yoga studio or is it just to travel around teaching yoga at hostels? Um, so think about what it is your goal is and what are the steps you need to take in order to meet that goal. So have a plan A and really stick to it. So step number four is to have a support system. This is so important because when we do things on our own, it can be a, it can be very difficult to actually um, achieve our goals because we only have ourselves keeping us accountable. But when you when you bring other people into your dream, when you share with them your vision, it really helps to keep you held accountable, and off it also just offers support and encouragement. So get someone, whether it's a good friend or your partner, or whether it's a group of friends, maybe who all have the same goal, really share with them what your goal is. And then you can hold each other accountable. You can share your progress. Um, so for, for me, for example, I shared with my boyfriend what my goal was for writing a book. Um, I told him exactly how many words I wanted to write every day, every week, when I wanted the first draft to be done. And he was able to hold me accountable by asking, did you meet your goal this week? How many words did you do today? Did you write today? And just knowing that someone at the end of the day was going to ask me my progress really kept me on track. And it's so important and it keeps you motivated. You're not in it alone. And that's something really important to remember. So step number five is to just trust the process. And this is probably the most difficult thing to do, but it's so important because I would say probably 90% of achieving your goal and actually making a big change in your life, like quitting your job, is your mentality. You have to shift your mentality into one of um, hope and faith and just knowing that it's all going to work out in the end. I have a lot of examples from my own life where I've done this, and I can tell you that it works. So instead of focusing on what if things went wrong, what if I don't get this job, what if I fail, what if I regret quitting my job, don't think about that. Think about the positive. Think about what if everything worked out. And this is this is kind of a mindset shift that's hard to make because um, I'm like that. I'm someone who, before doing anything, I'm just thinking, what if this fails? Um, What's the worst case scenario? What if that happens? And that mindset has gotten me nowhere. Every time I think like that, I'm so fearful of taking the first step. So that's not going to help. So push that aside. Focus on what if everything goes great? What's your dream? And what if it happens? What if you realize that dream? What, what does that look like for you? Think about it. It's like when you write down in detail what your dream job is, also brainstorm what it would look like if you met your goals and how would you feel on a daily basis. Um, so speaking from personal experience, after I quit my job in Senegal, I moved to Laos where I am right now and I'm loving it. I knew I wanted to be in Southeast Asia after I left Senegal. I knew I wanted to travel around. I've had nothing but positive experiences here and it all worked out really. I will share in future videos 
um, how to actually make the practical things happen, like saving money and part-time jobs you can do if you want to just travel, which is not um, an illogical thing to do. A lot of people want to just take a break from work and travel, whether it's for three months or a year, there's nothing wrong with that. So all I can say to you is just trust the process and know that everything is going to work out because I promise you that it will. And in my opinion, it's better to live a life of taking risks and following your dreams than getting to the end of your life and having regret that you never even at least tried. So I hope this video was some somewhat helpful for you if you're considering quitting your job. And like I said in a future video, I will let you know some other steps you can take once you've quit your job, like ideas for remote work you can do and money saving tips and travel tips, everything like that. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.